So this question says a circle in the standard xy coordinate plane has center uh, C at negative 1, 2. So I'm going to stop there and say that this is a plug-in picture question, specifically a graph question. And all that means is if a question describes something that can be drawn, I suggest that you draw it. Don't just try to envision it. So because we because the question mentions a standard xy coordinate plane, I'm going to draw an xy coordinate plane. It tells me that the center of the circle is at negative 1, 2. So I'm going to just mark where that would be for me. Again, I'm going to do my best to make these equidistant um, so that my, my spacing there gives me an accurate representation of the, of the circle. It also says that the circle passes through 2, 6. So 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2, 6 is here. And, you know, this is not going to be the greatest circle in the world, but at least it gives me some sense of how this circle looks. All right, so then it says line segment AB is a diameter of this circle, right? So it doesn't tell me where A or B is, but I know that I have a line segment AB as a diameter, which is fine. What are the coordinates of B? Hmm, well, oh, I'm sorry, we are told. So we are told that this 2, 6 is point A. Right, so then if 2, 6 is A, then my B must be over here on this side of the circle. And this is where having this visual is very useful because, um, for instance, when I look at choice F, negative 6, negative 2, well, let's just continue on and see where this looks like it would be. Right, so that's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And again, I recognize this is not exact, but I should not be that far off either. And this is negative 1, this is negative 2, this is negative 3. So negative 2, negative 1. So this looks like, for me, it's in this like negative 4, negative 2 area. That's what it looks like for me, given, again, me trying to make sure that my spacing is good. So negative 6, negative 2, I mean, am I that far off? It's possible. I'm not going to cross that out. Negative 5, negative 1, that's also possible. I'm not going to cross that out. Negative 4, negative 2, well, that's the exact numbers I got. So, of course, I like that. Now, positive 4, positive 2, right? So 3 and 4, that's way over here. That's There's just no chance. And then 5, 10, 5, and then 10 is up here somewhere. There's also, there's just no chance, right? So I would say I feel best about negative 4, negative 2, given the picture that I have. But what else can I do here? So I can mathematically, so first of all, I could just say, you know what? I could redraw this diagram, really pay attention to my spacing. Although I've, I think I've done a pretty decent job of the spacing. The only thing that maybe is not so great is the actual circle itself. Um, so I could just trust myself and say negative four, negative two is the right answer. But if I want to put some actual math in here, because F, G, and H are all kind of clustered and around the same general area, um, and, they're, and they're both, they're all in the correct area, I would say, well, what do I know? I know that the center is at negative 1, 2, and I know that it passes through 2, 6, which means I can find, I can find a slope. And I'm going to do this actually in a non-mathematical way just to show you. Right? So here's the math. If I were going to do slope, I would just say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and I'd be using my negative 1, 2, right? So that's like that x1 and a y1. And I'd be using the point that it went through, point A, which is 2, comma 6. So that would be like a x2 and a y2. So by all means, you know, use that, see what the slope is, and that will help you to know kind of how you can get from, obviously that helps you to know how to get from this midpoint up to this point. And then it would also, using a different color, the reverse of that would be true. This is like kind of the trick here. The reverse of that slope would be true to get down from the center to this missing point down here. But I don't have to use math to do that because I can just visually see that from 2 up to 6 is a rise of 4, right? So we're saying that the slope m is equal to rise over run. And then from negative 1 
over to positive two, well, that's a run of three. So my, I know that my slope is four thirds. So how would I get to this point down here? Well, I should go down four spaces, which takes me to negative two. And I should go over three spaces to the left, which takes me to negative four. So I was in fact correct with this point. It is the point negative four, negative two, and therefore H is the best answer. So a couple of useful things. One, the visual, although it wasn't perfect, does, it's, it's, it's not so far off, right, that it even looks like it would be negative six, negative two, or negative five, negative one. I understand that I could have been that far off, but if you remember I said earlier, I could have just trusted myself and said H is the right answer. That's probably what I would have done. Also, I don't think most teachers in school teach you that you can use slope to find a missing point. We could obviously also use distance formula to find the actual radius here and then use a distance formula between the center and each of the answer choices until we found the exact same distance, which would give us the same radius for this other half. So there's quite a few ways to solve this. I think the rise over run method is faster than the distance method. And I also think visual, having the drawing there is essential, right? So no matter what method you use after the drawing, definitely make sure that you're following this idea of plug-in picture whenever a question describes something that can be drawn.